Joe Biden with help from his old boss Barack Obama, is focusing on black voters in Michigan, as the Democrat looks to head off a repeat of 2016 nominee Hillary Clinton's epic collapse in the state, Joe Biden enters the final weekend of the presidential campaign, with an intense focus on appealing to black voters, whose support will be critical in his bid to defeat President Donald Trump, the Democratic presidential nominee is teaming up with his former boss, Barack Obama, for a swing through Michigan on Saturday. They'll hold drive-in rallies in Flint and Detroit, predominantly black cities where strong turnout will be essential to return this longtime Democratic state to Biden's column after Trump won here in 2016. The memories of Trump's upset win in Michigan and the rest of the upper Midwest are still searing in the minds of many Democrats during this closing stretch. That leaves Biden in the position of holding a consistent lead in the national polls, and an advantage in most battlegrounds, including Michigan, yet still facing anxiety that it could all slip away. Rep. Dan Kyle D., a Democrat who represents the Flint area, said he had been pressing for a couple of months for Biden or Obama to visit Flint, a city bedeviled by a water crisis that began in 2014 and sickened the city's residents, exposing stark racial inequities. Showing up matters Kyle D. said. The message is important, no question about it. But there's a message implicit in showing up, especially in Flint. This is a community that has felt left behind many, many times, and overlooked many, many times. It's a message to the people here that they matter, their vote matters Kyle D said. I think that helps. R&B legend Stevie Wonder will perform in Detroit on Saturday after Biden and Obama speak. The press for Michigan's black voters comes after voting was down roughly 15 percent in Flint in Detroit four years ago, a combined 48,000-plus votes in a state Trump carried by about 10,700 votes. Overall, the black voter turnout rate declined for the first time in 20 years in a presidential election, falling to 59.6 percent in 2016, after reaching a record-high 66.6 percent four years earlier, according to the Pew Research Center. Some Democrats say the dynamic is different this year. Jonathan Kinlich leads the 13th Congressional District Democratic Party, which includes parts of Detroit, and expressed confidence that black voters will turn out for Biden. This is not 2016, said Kinlich, who is black. People are motivated. People are energized and ready to right the wrong of 2016. But Trump is in ceding Michigan to Biden. He visited Waterford Township, near Detroit, on Friday, and held a rally in the state capital of Lansing earlier in the week. While Biden is expected to win the vast majority of black voters in next week's election, Trump has also courted them and hopes to shave into Democrats' historic advantage in the community. In his Michigan visits, Trump argued that he's been a better steward of their interests, while pillorying the state's Democratic governor over restrictions in the state she's implemented to try to stem the spread of the coronavirus, which has killed more than 229,000 Americans nationally and infected more than 9 million. Trump argued that he had followed through on promoting trade policies that have benefited Michigan's auto industry over the last four years. And although Obama steered about $80 billion to bail out General Motors and Chrysler, Trump argued that he and Biden didn't do enough to help manufacturing workers when the Great Recession jolted the auto industry a decade ago.